Welcome to the first lab module in the first Learning Simio lab series. In this lab, we'll use Simio to build sample models of a current and proposed configuration for a driver's license facility. For this lab, the learning objective and lab outline first, uh, where the goal is to learn the basics of the Simio user interface. How do you interact with the product? Uh, some basic modeling using Simio. So we'll develop models of uh, several different configurations and analyze those. And then finally using the Simio pivot grid and how to interpret the results and how to filter the pivot grid to give you the information that, you are, uh, that you're looking for. More specifically, uh, in terms of an outline, we will give a description of the system to be modeled, the driver's license system, followed by a brief introduction to the Simio user interface, describe the basic components, how to move around uh, within the interface, and so on. The third step, we'll model the current configuration of the system and do uh, some experimentation. And we'll follow, we'll uh, do a verification analysis uh, to make sure that the model is actually implementing uh, the, mo the system that we think it is. Uh, we'll then make some changes to the proposed, uh, changes to the model to develop the proposed configuration and end with an in-lab and take-home assignments. And so the work is spread over five videos. Uh, the first video, which that you're watching now, uh, will include the first two items. And then the second, third, fourth, and fifth videos uh, will have the remainder of the, uh, uh, of the lab. The system that we'll model initially is a driver's license office where uh, applicants arrive at the rate of approximately 10 per hour. So we have a pool, an infinite pool of applicants, uh, and they arrive at the rate of approximately 10 per hour. When an applicant arrives, um, they go to the check-in operation uh, where a single check-in clerk uh, checks the driving history, does a little bit of initial paperwork, and sends the applicant um, on their way. The check-in takes approximately five minutes. The applicant then takes a written exam, and there are currently two exam clerks. And when an applicant arrives, uh, he or she waits for an available clerk, and once the clerk is available, the applicant takes the exam with the clerk. So the clerk actually administers the written exam. The exam requires approximately 8.8 .8 minutes to take. And we're going to assume initially that all of the applicants uh, successfully pass the exam. Once the applicant finishes the exam, they go to a checkout kiosk. There are two computers, so the uh, checkout station can handle two um, applicants checking out at once and the computer kiosk uh, gives the applicant his or her temporary license. Uh, checkout takes approximately uh, nine minutes. What we'd like to measure in our system are typical queuing system type metrics where we'd like to uh, understand the utilization of our servers. So we have a check-in server, uh, a written exam, clerk server, and finally the checkout server. And we'd like to have an understanding about how busy those uh, servers are. We like some information about the customers, or the, the applicants in this case. And in particular, we'd like to know how long an applicant spends in the system from the time they arrive till the time they finish checkout. And we'd also like to know, have information about how many applicants are in the system so that we can plan for uh, the physical space required for the, uh, the driver's license office. At this point, before we start building the model, we want to talk just a little bit about the basic Simio user interface. You can see that Simio is a traditional Windows application that uses the ribbon interface, and there are a number of other components to the user interface uh, that are important. So let's spend a little while talking about that user interface. And to do that, I'm going to pull up Simio. And you can see, uh, as I mentioned, it's a, a traditional Windows interface. And we have the ribbon area here across the top. Uh, we have a file menu. Uh, which takes you to the open, close, new components and has recent projects uh, and recent places. Uh, we also have uh, something called the project tabs, which are these tabs across here where you see the facility process definitions and so on. We have the library component over here and you can see this is expandable. Uh, horizontally and we can also uh, increase the size of the project library. So when we talk about the um, 
the Simio libraries, there's a standard library, there are several other uh, component libraries, the flow library is, uh, is included, currently included with the standard Simio distribution, and you also have a project library. And we'll talk about what those things are a little more as we move forward. Uh, over on the right side of the screen, we have the uh, navigation window or the project, um, uh, the project window, which lists the components in the current Simio project. And we have the properties window here. Let me look at the properties for the model, uh, which provide access to the properties for the currently uh, selected object or object instance. In the middle here, we have the facility view. And the facility view uh, is where you do the majority of the actual Simio modeling. So we are going to basically place objects from the standard library into the facility view and then adjust those model properties. One thing I want to point out before we uh, jump in and build the model is something called the support ribbon. You can see the support ribbon here on the top and the ribbon provides access to the wealth of uh, support information that, that uh, Simio provides. So we have sample Simbit solutions. We'll see some Simbits uh, in, in future model, in future modules uh, that provide the tools to learn Simio include sample Simbit solutions. A Simbit is a very small model or model component that describes how to model a particular aspect or a particular uh, component. We'll see Simbits uh, here in a future lab. We're not going to use them for this initial lab. There are also a set of example models which are full models um, that are provided with the default Simio install. Uh, access to Simio books. There are several different books that are provided with Simio, including the Introduction to Simio ebook, the Complete Reference Guide, the um, API Reference Guide, and then several uh, additional online books. Uh, there are several videos available, and uh, this lab series is one of those videos, and there are several other videos that are available. Uh, on the Simio website. There's also a link to the Simio training uh, schedule which provides information about uh, upcoming Simio training opportunities. Uh, the next section in the support tab gives you gives information about your license. So you can see I'm running version 5.88 and subversion uh, 10118. And so this is likely different for your installation. These num the uh, Simio has frequent releases uh, and so the important component uh, for this is the 5.88. Uh, you'll also need this information if you contact Simio support. And over on the uh, uh, other information section, there are the release notes for your current release, uh, compatibility notes, some shared items where you can download additional uh, libraries, and then access to the Simio homepage. And finally, the support, uh, getting help. Uh, there's uh, access to the online help. Uh, there's a user forum, which is very active uh, with Simio um, users that are uh, generally willing to provide uh, information. And then finally, there's a direct email um, links which let you email a question directly to Simio support or email the current project uh, that you're working on. So with the Simio interface it's important to understand uh, these basic components, uh, the ribbons, tabs, libraries, project, uh, current model, properties, uh, facility view, and we'll be using those and referring to those uh, quite frequently. The reason that's important uh, is because the Simio user interface is dynamic in that depending on where you are in the model, you'll see different components and the active component will be different. So for example, if I select the current model from the navigation um, model window and I look at the process tab or the definitions tab, then I'm seeing the processes or definitions or data with respect to the model object. If I pick the model entity, then I see a slightly different set of tabs and the processes and definitions that I'm seeing are with respect to the model entity and not the model. And so users who are new to Simio as they go through the modeling exercises often have the wrong object selected. So for example, when we talk about 
uh, adding components to the model entity. If you go to the definitions tab, we can see elements, properties, and so on, but we have the model selected, so we're actually looking at these aspects of the model rather than the model entity. So understanding where you are and editing uh, the model requires making sure that you are at the correctly selected object, and then that's going to change uh, the, what you actually have visible uh, on the user interface. And so we will discuss this as we move forward and we'll spend a little bit of time uh, looking at that as we go. But once again, users who are new to Simio often find it difficult to find components uh, when they are in the, the, when they don't have the correct uh, object selected from the, from, from the, um, uh, and so Building Simio models, at least the type of models we're going to build in the initial couple of labs, involve using objects from the standard library. So we drag those objects into the facility view and then we adjust the object properties to match our um, system configuration. So before we jump into building the model, let's spend just a couple of minutes talking about uh, the Simio standard library. So the Simio standard library consists of objects that are pre-built uh, that are commonly used for building uh, traditional simulation models. And so we have different types of objects. We have a source and sync objects which are used respectively to create and destroy entities. We have a set of uh, server type objects in which entities arrive and some type of service is provided, uh, performed on those entities and the entities uh, depart. The combiner allows me to combine multiple entities into a batch. The separator allows me to either separate a batch or duplicate copy entities. A set of resource objects, uh, which model capacitated resources, uh, where the vehicle and worker objects, uh, in addition to modeling the capacity, are also movable. We have nodes, which define points in space, uh, that, uh, so that we can uh, define entity movement. So together with the connector set, the connector path, time path, and conveyor, uh, the nodes and connectors provide a mechanism to define uh, a movement graph. And so what we're going to do in the next video uh, is use objects from the standard Simio library to develop model of the current configuration of our uh, driver's license system.